everyone, I'm here with the kickoff to my second Project Hen Pan. So, I have a pretty similar format to my last Project Hen Pan that I did. I actually have 12 products. I have 10 new products that I'm, well, not new products, but new Project Hen Pan products. And then two items that I'm rolling over from my previous Project 10 pan. And I like doing it like that to have a few more products. That way if there's something that just takes a lot longer than the other products to finish, I'm not just Project 10 panning one item at the end. So I like having a little bit of a cushion that way. Um, and yeah, I picked kind of a different variety or I guess I try to pick stuff from different categories so I can use all the products at the same time. Um, but yeah, I'll just get into everything that I chose for my second round of Project 10 Pan. And like last time, I think I'm going to be doing updates every two weeks. That seemed to work. Um, so yeah, I think um, it would be similar to my last Project 10 Pan in format. And I'm hoping to have this finished in about three months. That's about how long my last Project 10 Pan took, but we'll see. I mean, everyone's kind of different just depending on how long it takes me to use up these individual products. So I'm going to start by just quickly showing my rollover products for my last Project Pan. I have the Benefit High Beam Highlighter. This is almost finished, but I did want to roll over products and I think I'll be doing that for all my project patents because I will be um, always having like well for this one I'll have two products once I finish 10 I'll have two remaining um, so I'll always be doing the rollover thing just to finish up all the items that I chose um, but this is almost finished I had to scrape all the products up on the sides because the applicator can't get to the product very easily but I've taken out the stopper but this is really pretty, um, so I do want to use all of it that I can, but that one is almost finished. So this one shouldn't last that long, but this one will be a good one to use up just because I've been using it for so long. And I also have my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Now this one I anticipate lasting for a while. I still haven't taken the stopper out yet. I'm still getting product on the applicator. Um, and this is hard to see how much progress I made. You can see how the product is kind of wearing away on the sides. But I anticipate that I have quite a bit of product left. And this is one, I mean, with concealer, you don't necessarily need to use like a ton of it at a time. So this one I anticipate lasting for a while, but I am excited to continue to use this. So now on to the 10 new products that I chose, a more exciting part of the video. So... I definitely this year or for 2015 I want to use up primers like primers is one of the things that I have a lot in my makeup collection of and a lot of them are samples sizes so they're not necessarily going to take forever to finish up but I would like to go get through a lot of my primers so I think in my project 10 pans I always want to have a primer so the primer I'm currently using is the Benefit That Gal. So I decided to throw this into the Project 10 pan. Now this, I don't know, I don't, I don't have a lot of it left. I have been using it quite a bit recently. Um, it is pretty light, but instead of picking a new primer and then just putting this aside, I wanted to get through this first. So that's why I decided to pick this for the Project 10 pan. And a lot of the items that I did pick, um, well, most of them I've used a good majority of it, but I kind of wanted this final push to make me kind of use it up versus focusing on like newer products. So I picked this and I do really like this primer, so I'm excited to continue to use this. And then I have a powder and this is a powder that I've had in a lot of my weekly makeup bags. And this is the Corez, um Wild Rose Mineral Setting Powder. So what I did on this is I tried to like tap it down so all the product got to the bottom. And I tried to do it as evenly as possible. And this is my like mark of progress. So I'm a little more than halfway finished with this. I do like it, but I really prefer pressed powders. And I recently with a Sephora VIB sale got a pressed powder. 
But I don't want to just stop using this. I do really want to get through this because I've had this for a little bit of time, like a few years now. I got this at another Sephora VIB sale, I think like two years ago. So I do want to get through this. And that's also what I kind of try to pick is to focus on things so I can get through some of my older items versus just using up my new stuff. Um, so I have this. And let's see, the next thing, I do have another highlighter. So I do have the high beam, but I don't anticipate this taking me this long to, that long to use up. So I also threw in a Benefit Watts Up. Now this, I didn't really know how to measure, but I took a post-it note. And I'll keep this post-it note so I remember my progress. So the Watts Up if I put the post-it note to the bottom of the plastic part, that is my current progress. And I haven't used a lot of this. This I can use for a highlight, um, and I'll start using this as my highlight kind of once I've used up the high beam I'm anticipating. This also can be like an eyeshadow base. So there's multiple uses for this. And this I picked because I have three of these. I, um, it was the birthday gift in like 2013 at Sephora. I just feel like these are everywhere. Like everyone has this. I like it, but I have so many of them. I just want to get through at least one of them. Um, so I picked this. And I'm not sure how long this will take me to use up. I think if I'm using it as an eyeshadow base and a highlighter that I can get through it faster. But I'm just, I'm not really sure how long something like this would take, but that will be exciting to find out. And then I do have a blush, well, a blush-like product, I guess, a liquid blush. This is my Benefit, um, what is this called? Benetint. Um, this I've had for a while, too, and this can be a cheek stain. It also can be a lip stain. Um, it's nice today. I'm wearing it under my Tarte Doll Face Blush. So it's a nice kind of base for blush or if you just want kind of some a lighter look. So that is my progress. I've made a little mark with my Sharpie. So I do want to get through, well, I don't know how practical it would be for me to pick like a powder blush, but since this I don't have a lot left. I thought it was something I could finish up because the blush category is kind of a scary one to kind of tackle. I just feel like I don't know if I could ever finish up a powder blush. I've never finished up a powder blush. I mean, even hitting pan on a powder blush is an accomplishment. So I picked something that I thought I could manage to use up. Um, and then I do have an eyeshadow primer. So this is the Benefit. I guess I have a lot of Benefit items. Like, yeah, five Benefit items in this. But I have a lot of like Benefit samples and stuff that I don't always reach for, so I wanted to try to use some of this stuff up. So this is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray. I've used this before. It's not my favorite eyeshadow primer. I recently got the NARS um, Smudge Proof um, eyeshadow base, which I absolutely love, and I totally would use that every day. But I do want to get through some of my other eyeshadow primers, so I decided to put this in, even though it's painful to do because I just want to use the NARS one. But... I want to get through this, and it's a little size of it. I'm not sure how long this one will take me, but that is something else I'm going to be working on. I do have an eyeshadow. Um, it's one I've hit pan on, but yeah, eyeshadow is another hard one to kind of put in a project pan. But this is the Urban Decay um, eyeshadow, single eyeshadow in Virgin. And I'm still going to be doing the thing where I'm rotating through my like makeup eyeshadow palettes. But I thought this would always be a good one to have in my makeup bag. This is a great like highlight color. I can also wear this all over the lid. But if my eyeshadow palette that I picked doesn't have like a great highlight shade, this is something that I can definitely reach for. And I thought I could get a lot of use out of it and try to use this up. And I've also hit major pan on this. So it would be good to use up an eyeshadow. So I also chose that. And then I did pick a liner. Um, I have a lot of these small little liners that I got in a set a few years ago from Urban Decay. And I just need to start getting through them because I've had them for so long. 
but the one I chose for this project pan is Rockstar. It's just a purple color. I have been using this recently, um, and you've noticed it in some of my makeup bags if you watch those videos. I really like this. I think it's really pretty. Um, and it's, it is just a little like smaller size of it, so it shouldn't be that difficult to use up. But I do want to start getting through some of my um, little eyeliners. So this one I also measured on my little post-it note, and I just measured, like put the bottom of the liner, the bottom of the post-it note. I guess I don't do that great. Well, anyway, that is where I currently am. So I have that. And then I have some lip products because I do need to get through some lip products and this kind of like motivates me to use up some lip products. So I chose a lip butter. Um, this was like all the rage a few years ago. I have a few of these lip butters. So I picked the most wearable shade. This is in Berry Smoothie. Um, and... I don't have, well, these don't come with like a ton of product, but this is how much product I have if I roll the lipstick all the way up. So it's not a full tube, and I have my cap here, so what did I do? I put, so this metal part here is where I put the bottom of the cap, and then I made my mark right where the tallest part of the lipstick is. So that is my current mark. And this is a pretty wearable, um, like everyday color. So I thought that wouldn't be too bad to use up. And then to pair with this, I also have this Collection 2000. It's a lock and hold lip gloss in the color Beatbox 2. So I thought these, um, I like to wear these together. They look nice together. It's a similar kind of berry color. And this I got, I've had for a while. I got this when I was in London. So I kind of picked um, things that I've had for a while for lip products. So this is just like a lip gloss. So I thought this combination would work well together. So I have both of those items. And then my last item is another lip product. This is from Stila. This is one of the lip glazes in Apricot. This isn't a full size of it. This um, is like a sample. I think I got this from some Sephora promo code, like little bag of samples. Um, but this is like a pretty sheer, it's a little pink but very sheer with a little bit of shimmer but this can go well on top of kind of any other like lipstick so I picked this this is a pretty easy to use gloss um, so my progress with that I just marked on the side of the little pen thing so those are the 12 products for this project 10 pan as I said, I pl am planning to do updates every two weeks, so definitely be on the lookout for those. But yeah, that's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.